Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and on this channel I teach people how to cultivate an atmosphere of heaven on earth and to make Jesus famous. And I do that through various teachings and testimonies and Bible studies. So today I'm going to be helping the person who has felt like they went ahead of God and they feel like now they've ruined their life and they just messed everything up and they don't know where to go from here. I wanna give you a case study from the Bible. So Abraham and Sarah were two people who were waiting on God for our particular promise. God told them that they were going to have a child of promise and, and, and that Abraham was going to be the father of many nations. And you know, as you know, Abraham and Sarah were both very, very old in age but they as humans do and as we often do they got impatient and they went ahead of god and what happened is that sarah arranged for her maidservant hagar to sleep with abraham so that he could get pregnant or sorry she could get pregnant and um, give birth to a child and they thought that by doing that that god somehow was going to be okay with it and that that child was going to be the child of the promise but in actuality god said it's not going to be ishmael which is the name of the child who they gave birth to god said it's going to be isaac right and so what happened after they went ahead of god and they had this child out of their own human effort is that God actually went to um, I believe it was three I think there were three angels or three men of God came to Abraham and told him look you're still going to have this child of the promise he said in fact by this time next year you are going to give birth to the child of promise Sarah laughed and she said how is this gonna be I'm old God said, you, um, Sarah, you laughed. Sarah said, no, I didn't laugh. So it was just this whole thing of, you're telling me I'm gonna have this child of the promise. I'm old already. My womb is as good as nothing. How is this going to happen? So I want you to take away from this story, the whole point that God keeps his promises, all right? You are not too powerful to mess up the plan that God has for your life, right? Yes, Abraham and Sarah went ahead of God and they did things in their own effort, but God's promise for them still stood. Like Isaac was still the child of the promise. And you know, Isaac's name actually means to laugh. And so that happened because Sarah laughed when the angel of the Lord revealed to her that you're gonna have this child next year. So I don't want you to feel like you ruined your life because you went ahead of God you take matters into your own hand I want you to just repent say Lord my bad I thought that I was helping you out I thought that by um, doing this that somehow I was gonna get closer to the promise or maybe accelerate the, the process God I'm sorry God I'm not wise as you I'm just not like I don't have it all figured out I don't know how this is gonna happen so I surrender and I'm trusting in you again all over again and I ask that you forgive me and in doing so I'm telling you it's a clean slate you cannot keep yourself in that place of condemnation because you went ahead of God you did something in your own effort and found out oh my gosh this is actually not the child of the promise where do I go from here there is grace and there is mercy available for you but you have to be willing to move forward and you have to be willing to wait on God that's the biggest thing you have to be willing to wait on God to fulfill the promise that he gave you in the first place because with Sarah and Abraham God was the one who actually gave them the promise all right so be encouraged you are not too far gone you have not messed up to the point that God cannot redeem you there's always um, the gospel is a story of redemption all right and we know that in Christ we are redeemed we were once a people who had gone afar gone astray but we have now returned to the shepherd to the overseer of our souls and so that's the gospel and that's what happened with Sarah and Abraham yes they messed up yes they went ahead of God but God in his mercy and in his compassion still decided to stand by his word because guess what the bible says that in his holiness he cannot lie god is a god of covenant he doesn't break covenants and so if he said it it is coming to pass in jesus name